Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to GFD Brokers Traders Espresso with me, Darius Lincharskas. Today is the 4th of January 2019. Um, so welcome everyone. Welcome to this first Friday of this year. Um, and of course, as always, in session we're, we're going to have a look at the markets, a few charts. Um, but before we do that, as well, let's quickly have a read through of our risk disclaimer. So the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an, inv an, inv an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Just quickly adjust a few things and uh, right now the first one I want to touch on here is the FTSE 100 now I was talking about this one yesterday and I was basically telling you guys that yep we're still on the downtrend we're still trading below these uh, some of these uh, downside resistance lines so uh, the first one being the kind of the medium term one which is taken from the high of August last year um, and of course we're still below that um, but from the shorter term perspective this is what I was telling you guys to keep an eye on so this is the level that we're watching as the uh, potential gateway for higher levels of course if we get a break of it um, and that's the 6752 area approximately there so also uh, we do have the uh, I'm looking at this four hour chart we do have the 50 EMA here shown as the red line uh, in a way if we get both of these breaks here a break above this level and a break uh, a push above the 50 EMA this certainly uh, could put a positive spin on the FTSE 100 at least for the short from the short term perspective and we could then aim for the 6790 or even actually going all the way higher here towards the 6915 levels so keep your eyes on this one and of course the most important keep your eyes on the 6752 level approximately there um, you could in a way if you wanted round it up towards the 55 but nevertheless this area here keep an eye on it because a nice good pop above it could uh, open the path towards higher levels on the downside of course we're still keeping a close eye on the 6675 um, it kind of continues to play as a nice area of support uh, even though we had a break here on the uh, in the end of the December but still this is going to be an interesting level to watch because the drop below this could send this an index lower towards the 6600 level um, or even actually going all the way towards the December low which were around the 6535 area so uh, keep your eyes on that one um, and keep your eyes on these two levels let me just quickly mark this for our future reference um, so this is the area that we're keeping an eye on the on the downside so let's see where this breaks um, um, jumping into actually jumping into now into one crypto uh, probably the most popular one is which is Bitcoin and uh, of course let me just quickly jump into daily first on this one certainly uh, in December in the mid December we had a nice push here back up uh, managed to get back above this key area here around the uh, 3570 level approximately there of course different exchanges have um, different pricing so uh, the one that I'm looking here at is Coinbase so keep your eyes on this little area here around the 3570 because if this decides to drop back down here of course this will increase the chances of of test retesting this level around the uh, 3140 area which was the low of December and uh, of course if that doesn't hold further declines could be possible but to be honest looking at this uh, looking at this chart in general overall I mean since we um, since the kind of the crypto uh, reached its highs here near the uh, just of course slightly below the psychological 20,000 it continued to decline so 2018 was not a very good uh, year for this crypto so 
I mean, now looking at this daily chart, certainly it is at the moment, it is trying to form higher lows, which is uh, currently happening. Um, but like I said, if this suddenly drops below the um, <clears throat> below, excuse me, below the 3,570 3, level, um, again, not all is lost for the bull still because we could maybe create a um, another uh, low here, higher low here, if we take into consider, if we ignore this bit right here, then um, basically, we could maybe um, see maybe a reversal again back to the upside, but again, the probably the breaking point here would be this 3,140 level, the low of December. Um, a drop below this could uh, well continue this downside move here in, on Bitcoin. But for now, from looking at from the short term perspective, there is a chance for uh, for us to see maybe a bit more upside here, where we could maybe retest the 4,430 area. Uh, marked near the highs of the 29th of November um, and if that doesn't hold further acceleration to the upside could be possible um, but for now let's, let's play the save game uh, first let's see uh, how it wants to perform here if, if it wants to drop lower and if it actually breaks this 3570 level if it not if, if not then we could see maybe a rebound and a push back up so for now it's a bit of a waiting game guys um, you, from the very short term perspective guys you could in a way uh, keep your eyes on these uh, let me just quickly promote put that on here on the chart on this little area of potential resistance near the 3920 um, a nice good push here above that could op could lead towards that level that I was talking about. Of course, initially we will target the the highs that we saw here in uh, in the end of December near the uh, 4,240. Uh, but if that doesn't hold, yep, the 4,430 area that I was talking about could be a good potential target. Uh, but of course, all that leads still. To, to one thing we need to get uh, from the very short term perspective of course we need to get a nice good pop here above this area right here um, and also you can see that we do have the 200 EMA here in the four hour chart so which could uh, could be that also that gateway if we get a break here above that could be that gateway towards slightly higher levels um, jumping into Aussie yen now this one uh, took the center stage yesterday um, and you probably can see why um, or in not only it of course not only this pair but uh, a lot of yen pairs so basically yesterday i was kind of looking at this we were looking at this and we were expecting maybe a bit more downside here certainly you can see that it's currently getting held here by the 76 level approximately there um now this is going to be the big question because I do understand that yes, we are quite oversold here, and uh, we could um, we could see maybe a bit of more correction to the upside because we do have this uh, short-term downside resistance line taken from the high of the third of December. Um, so in a way, we could see maybe a climb back up here towards a retest of this of this uh, downside resistance line, but. To be honest, I mean, I would probably recommend to stay cautious here a little bit because you can see that this level here, the 76 zone, and actually let me just jump into a four hour in this one. You can see it's currently kind of getting held. He's holding the rate down and also it's, it's not far from this 21 EMA here on the four hour chart. So uh, basically long story short guys, we could see maybe uh, a bit of a down move here again uh, where we could then maybe retest these areas these lows uh which which are of course around the 7450 or even just slightly below that the 74 level itself so uh which is also around the pivot so currently i mean you can see that the uh the pair is stuck just kind of between the the, uh, the pivot and the r1 um so also uh, sometimes classed as a interesting uh, level to watch uh the midpoint between the the the, the pivot and the r1 um so of course now uh, if this continues to hold this is where it's going to be tricky for the bulls we could see maybe a bit of a slide here back down so that's why i'd be very cautious on this one um if it, if something like that happens if we, can, if we see a slide further slide down here of course we'll be keeping a close eye on the 74 level here on the pivot uh because a nice good drop below this could um could drag the pair further down here so um be very careful with this one it's a very interesting pair but at the same time in these current market conditions it's 
it's a bit of a tricky one. Um, on the upside, well, I mean, if, if we get above the 76 level and if we start breaking the 21 EMA here, yep, certainly we could then target the 76.80 or even actually going higher a little bit, 77.50 marked by the highs of the 1st of January. So uh, keep an eye on this. Um, be very careful right now. Um, let's see how this plays out. Uh, Euro dollar. Now, with this one, looking at this four hour chart, so basically yesterday I was talking about this one and I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on it because we could get a similar scenario that we had here uh, with the euro dollar back in December, in the mid December. So you can see what happened. We had the break of this in in a way kind of a some some could say a tentative upside support line but uh nevertheless something still continues to play out nicely so basically looking at this you can see that we had these false breakouts here and uh and kind of a more of an extended false breakout i would say um and the, but the pair still managed to get back above above this upside support line taken from the lows of november and of course now what we're beginning we're going to be keeping a close eye on is um this little area of potential resistance near the uh the 114.25 area also need to mention the fact that it's currently above the uh the pivot which is a bit of a well it could be seen as a positive sign so but for better confirmation probably guys uh keep a close eye on this little area here around the 114.25 if that gets broken we could maybe see this one traveling a little bit higher maybe actually even retesting the the psychological 115 level so on the downside here, uh, if this suddenly drops back down below the pivot, and if it actually drops below the pivot, then I mean, this could uh, also, of course, this automatically would place the the pair below this upside support line again. Um, and this is, of course, where we we will target the 113.40 or even actually the 113.05 level, where you can see that uh, on 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 the 2nd of January it found kind of almost found good support near that area. So and from which it retraced back up and moved higher um for now again long story short guys basically keep an eye on this upside support line continue monitoring it because a drop below this could of course open the path towards lower levels but um if 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 it fails to kind of uh get back above it and starts pushing further down towards the 113.40 and then eventually breaks that level, then we could maybe see a further decline here, um, maybe even actually going below the 113 level. But for now, for now, uh, remain cautious. Also, don't forget that we do have the NFPs today, so quite a big event. So um, try not to trade during the, re the data release um, and see how the market will react first. Um, jumping into USD CAD, now looking at this pair yesterday, um, talk about a sell-off, talk about finally breaking this little range here um the, the pair was trading in and uh of course it broke below the 135.65 zone and kind of got back inside this little uh, channel that we had uh, that the pair was running in initially um, so it kind of now it's sitting it's just around the mid midpoint midpoint of that channel and uh, of course what we're keeping a close eye on here is the um, a few key areas of support the first potential area of support could be around here around the 134 uh, 45 uh, you can see that it, can, it wants to try to continue pushing further down probably this what will happen uh, right now so it will continue pushing lower um, and of course slightly below that we do have the 200 EMA here shown on, uh, as the black line on the four hour chart um, we could see maybe a test of that area but it, as you can also probably see uh, we do have the S1 here around the 134.20 zone so also could pr provide good support um, and uh, for now for now guys of course the momentum is more to the downside uh, let's see how this plays out let's see how the um, this short-term move here uh, plays out because why I'm saying that it's a short-term move because it's still overall you can see that the the trend is to the upside and even though we're having the slide lower here for the, it's, it's of course seen as a bit of a correction here so uh, even if this continues to slide lower down here probably to turn bearish in long term on this pair we would need to see a drop here below this uh, lower side of the channel 
and uh, we've, we would need to see a break below this and a move further down so then we'll of course consider a move for further down but for now uh, of course we're just going to be very careful with this uh, of course from the short term perspective yes it could continue traveling lower a little bit but if it continues to travel lower and touches the this this lower side of the of the rising channel then this is where you should become cautious a bit because if this fails to break then we could see maybe a rebound and a push back up again so because looking at this uh, from the for example from the weekly chart uh, from the weekly perspective um, certainly it, it looks quite um, overbought uh, right now uh, but again you know we could see maybe like I said you find the pair could find support near this lower side of the channel and we could see maybe another leg of buying later on but for now for now guys uh, the long story short from the very short term perspective Keep an eye on this uh, 134.45, the 200 EMA, and the area around the 134.20. Um, if this suddenly reverses back up here, moves back above the 135 zone, um, certainly we could see maybe a bit of a travel higher here. And even if, let's say, it does travel, it continues to travel further up here above the 100 EMA and even starts taking out the pivot here, which is around the 135.40 uh, area approximately there, um, then we, this is the area that we're going to be keeping close eye on the 135.65 because if it fails to get back above this, then, I mean, we could see maybe another cur curved uh, curve move here to the downside. So, yep could be an impossible scenario but for now for now it seems from the very short term perspective it seems that it wants to test uh the 134.45 first and or even actually the 200 ema here around uh shown as the black line around uh, the 132.20 zone so keep your eyes on that one okay guys um i hope you found it useful and if you want to join me later on with my traders tea time and that's 14 15 gmt time uh, but for now i hope you have a fantastic trading day and uh, once again be very careful with the nfps today um try not to trade during the release and uh, try to capture the market after thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye